<laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be so happy. <laughs> Seattle, the city known for its cloudy days, coffee, the Space Needle, and most importantly, the 90 show Frasier. Come with us while we check out this city. Next part of our adventure, we have crossed the border from Canada to USA. This is our fourth time in America. And this morning we have caught a free ferry over to Seattle. It is apparently known for its coffee. I will be the judge of that. I have to say, it's one of the better coffees I've had. <laughs> The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stop by a market and get some food and then explore what Seattle has to offer. During our walk to the Pike Street Markets, we stumbled across something a bit odd. Just a free gum? Yeah. It's free, free candy. <laughs> I think they're confusing America. Free dumb with free gum. <laughs> Still dumb. <laughs> Goes forever. Once Jake finished offering me free candy, we made our way through to the Pike Street Public Market. A great little tourist attraction if you're looking for fresh food, an abundance of fresh flowers, clothing, paintings, and numerous touristy items. However, there is a second level to the market that does have an incredible view of the ports of Seattle. Even on this overcast day, it was great to see the city skyline. Make sure you check it out if you visit the market. Where there's a beer float, there's a Jake and Tiff. <laughs> that one's really good. I like that one. It says the street cup. Maybe that's what will happen after drinking six beers. Okay. We're good streaking! Yeah. This one tastes like a juice. It's not bad. It's not as bad as that one. Don't love that. Not bad that one. Oh, that's like a. I don't even know how to describe that flavor. Like, hits you straight away. Yeah, don't mind that. That's the observation deck. 158 meters. They measured that height by bringing a helicopter up 1961, I guess, is when they measured it out. But the purpose was really to show off for the World's Fair. The World's Fair was everything below us here. 61 years ago, it failed technology, stuff like the microwave, the touchstone telephone, voicemail. Big deal at the time. So at the top here, 520 feet. above ground and then on the level below us we have a rotating restaurant so we're gonna go check that out but it's beautiful views up here amazing This one is the 
not as scary as the Great Canyon one. No. <laughs> but, or maybe I'm just getting better with these kind of things. <laughs> Why you have to go and be so caffeinated? <laughs> It's one of the better coffees I've had in the last six months. Usually, I bang on about how Americans and Canadians don't understand coffee. Take, for example, yesterday when I asked for a latte and they gave me drip coffee. What's you got? Holy shit. But this is really nice. I'm enjoying it. <laughs>